Hello, my name is Tani Cowell, and I'm the Director of Nutrition and Facilities with Reading School District. I'm so excited to welcome you here today to learn about our newest venture, hydroponics gardening. Um, I first heard about Fork Farms back in March of 2022. And it came about because I was actually doing some research on USDA commodities and how could I make a more sustainable program. I was looking at trying to support local, um, have less processed foods, and so I was talking to USDA and they're actually the ones that kind of pointed Fork Farms in my direction and said, hey, you should look at this. So I brought it to our supervisors and said, hey, look at this project. What do you think about this? I think it's something that we could do. And immediately, they just were so excited about it. We kind of got pushed into uh, the project. They started talking about it, like our superintendent started talking about it at Rotary. Um, our CBO started talking about it with our principals. And then before I know it, I was buying one to try and uh, give it a test run. We talked through a lot of things with the district in the Midwest before we got our first one. Um, but then I got the first one, set it up in my office. Lo and behold, within 30 days, I had about 25 pounds of lettuce. It worked. It worked just like they said it was going to work. It was exactly what we anticipated. Um, so once that one was a success, we bought 12 more. In my role as the Director of Nutrition and Facilities, I have a unique uh, ability to know what spaces are available on each campus, what they're used for. I am very familiar with square footage, size, utilities, electrical. Are we using this space? Can you see a future where this will be used? And if not, can I repurpose it? We're actually about to walk into the girls' locker room. With the change of curriculum, the change of physical education, and what we do here at this school site, it just hasn't been used nearly as much as it could. We took this opportunity to make both spaces more functional for the school, providing additional storage, and now we have the added hydroponics garden here in the girls' locker room. And six months ago, this space was filled with lockers, benches. How were we going to get these things out? Uh, fortunately, we have a wonderful team. As I said, in my dual roles, I have great relationships and, and everybody was really excited to help on such a unique adventure that we were taking on. Once the lockers were out, our next thing to look at was these pedestals that the lockers sat on. We teamed up with another local contractor to go ahead and have them all removed. They were all jackhammered out and concrete was replaced over them to create a nice smooth surface to place the flex farms on. Once we had all the lockers out, the pedestals were removed, the concrete is nice and smooth and replaced. The next thing we looked at was our walls and painting. We painted the entire room. We did it white intentionally to help reflect the light from the units so that way we could create the best growing environment for our lettuce. By June of 2022, we were, uh, we were getting ready to put this beautiful system that you see behind me together. Everybody did a piece from our IT department to our cooks and cafeteria assistants to our uh, superintendent, our CBO, and we just we made it happen. It's quite an amazing project to happen in such a short period of time. My name is Kevin Boyle. I work at Fork Farms. We're an agricultural technology company in Green Bay, Wisconsin. We seek out partnerships um, really with organizations that are looking to accelerate local access to fresh food and also inspire health in their community. So that's a big part of the reason why we're here today at Reading School District. What you'll see behind us, this is our Flex Connect system. Uh, it's 12 units that are all kind of daisy chained together. And really it's, it's large scale food production. You know, it's going to offset around 50% of the lettuce production or the lettuce that Reading School District purchases. It's kind of about increasing the positive perception of fresh food. So the more 
we can get lettuce production closer to the source of consumption, um, whether volunteer students are helping in growing the food, seeing it from the seeding stage all the way to the lettuce, you know, when you're harvesting stage. And then as a result, they end up consuming more fresh food. And really you see it longevity through the lifespan um, of the person's life as well. That's really the powerful aspect of it and why we're really excited for this partnership here. My name is Alex Kustler. I've been uh, at Fork Farms since November. So I've been here for just about eight, nine months now. What we do, we primarily work with school districts, create connection points and core memories for students to agriculture and nutrition. And we do that through hydroponics. At Fork Farms, our mission is to inspire and empower everyone to grow fresh food, nourish their communities and heal our planet. Food service department and nutrition services department is really like the lifeblood of a school district. It's where kids get fed, it's where kids get connected to food. So we wanna be a part of that. And we wanna show people in California and food service directors that there can be another way. Reading School District can grow as hyper-locally as possible, right on site with lettuce that they can then take and integrate into the salad bar and kids can consume it right like 40 feet from where it's being grown. We are one of the first districts, actually the first district in California to do something like this, which is really exciting for us to be kind of on that edge. Not only there's technology, sustainability, locally growing. I mean, we're looking at less than six months within our program. We went from purchasing all of our lettuce uh, from growers throughout Arizona and California to now at least half of our lettuce is actually grown at Sequoia Middle School and is sitting in our salad bars throughout the district, which is such an amazing feat. Harvesting a tower takes between 45 minutes and an hour, and we yield about 22 pounds of lettuce. And to give you an idea of what that means for our school site, is we can serve an entire school of 200 kids salad bar every day with less than 20 pounds of lettuce in a week. So roughly each tower will serve one school site within our district. Most lettuce is only set to stay on the shelf for about 10 days. Um, ours is actually four weeks because we have just eliminated the transportation and processing time in that it literally gets picked out of one of these towers and then goes within two days to a school site to be used. And this is about as organic as you can get. We do serve a salad bar every day, Monday to Friday, um, for all of our grade groups, K through eight, which is really quite a wonderful thing. So most of the lettuce goes till that. We do offer four different types of lettuce, so it gives a little bit of color to our salad bar. We don't just stop at the salad bar. We're also serving them on our condiment bars when it comes to hamburgers, for our sandwiches, for our chicken patty sandwiches. Anything that you would put lettuce on, this is an option. The texture was amazing. It was great and cold. It was amazing. Yummy. Really good. I had lettuce. I, I've been eating salad now because it's so good. It tastes way better than the store salads. I don't like salad, but apparently the schools taste good probably because they grow it fresh and it actually tastes good. It isn't bad. <laughs> While this is right now for the kitchen only, we hope to expand this to our science classes and be able to share all of the cool things that we do and what you can learn from doing hydroponics and the science and the math behind it. So this really can be integrated all the way from food service to textbooks in the classroom about how we can support our community. You know, we're putting our labor, our tax dollars, all of our money right back into our school district and giving our kids the best product that we possibly can. The first time you walk into this building and you see the green growing from these machines, it just thrills you about the opportunities and really our kids learning from the science of growing food. It's been powerful to see a company like Fork Farms work really closely with our nutrition director and build something phenomenal that is really just feeding kids and teaching them about how food is grown and the way that we can eat and sustain this way of life. 
we hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about Reading School District and the wonderful things that we offer to our students.